Uh, do y'all happen to have any video games or old toys by chance or sports cards? Like old like football cards or baseball cards or computer. Computer. Gotcha. Oh. Oh. Are you interested in baseball cards? Yeah. Yeah, I do baseball card, mainly football, but I can I, I would look at baseball. I don't know baseball as well as I know football. I got a couple cases in my storage. Room. Oh man, is it just baseball stuff? How old? Early to mid eighties. I got some Don Ross and some Fleer. Sets or is it just the individual ones and twos and stuff? No, no, it's in a case. I bought the complete case. What do you mean? So like it's the full box set. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. No, I don't know. Is that a box set? Yeah. Well, usually if it's like a case, it's usually sealed up. Twenty-four boxes in a case, I believe. Oh, you bought like the boxes of cards where you can rip them open. Right, right, right. And there's. Are you kidding? No. Oh, you might. Uh, yeah, you might need to look that up, man. You know, cards have made a big comeback. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, cards have made a comeback. I mean. It, the the pinnacle was about a year and a half ago, where you know, so it's on its downtrend. But it's it they've overall they've made a comeback. So um, yeah, I was gonna say if you got cards. I didn't, I didn't deal in sets. You just bought the box the boxes of cards with all the packs in them. I think there's 24 boxes in a yeah, case. In a case, yeah, yeah, and then each box probably has I don't know 20 packs in them or something yeah, like that. Something like yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, yeah. wow. Uh, let me give you, you think it was like, just to give you an example, you said what year you think you know you got? What year do you think you have for sure? We'll, so we'll, take, we'll take a shot. We'll go lay 84 Donruss. And we'll just see what pops up. Yeah. Uh, any tops? Tops is more popular than Donruss. You know what, I've got them right here in the storage shed. Why don't I look? <laughs> That's your Fords. Oh my goodness. Oh, you uh, yeah, you might have, you might have something, boss. You might have something, boss. Huh? You might have something. Uh, I mean, like 84 Donruss baseball unopened boxes are going for like 500 bucks. Wow. Huh. Yeah, that is a, ten years ago, I couldn't even get rid of them. Yeah, I know. Yep. But people are, it's crazy now, man. The market's nuts. Is it all because of Aaron Judge? Or? No, 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 no. It was all happened before all that, but no. What I mean, that doesn't. His baseball. Do you know? Did the kid, did the guy that caught it? I haven't kept up. I haven't. Yeah, I hadn't. I haven't kept up, man. So I, I don't do baseball a lot. I keep up more with football. Oh wow. No way. Donruss, Donruss, and score. Get out of town. What year? You mind grabbing one out? Are they still in the way? I'm assuming it's still in the plastic boxes. This this one has been open. Not the boxes, but the case. No. What does that say? 89 on... 89 well, baseball donners. All right, so let's look at... Wow, that's... Puzzle and cards. That ain't... Oh, puzzle and cards. Okay. This is the 90 Fleer. See, I was way off on the year. Hold on. Let me check. Let me check that one out. The one you just had there. Put, let me see what that one's going for. What's that? Donruss, 1980, 89 Donruss. <coughs> I was wrong. There's only 36 boxes in the case. Uh, so this one 
sells for approximately 30-ish dollars, give or take. What, for the case? For for one box of these goes wow. for about 30 I bucks. Agree. Now, free free shipping, so realistically, you, you know, maybe 20 bucks a box, give or take, on, on, this, on this one itself. Because um, they're going for about thirty dollars free shipping. So free shipping, you got to figure ten bucks yeah. for shipping, give or take. So about twenty dollars a box on those. What else you got? So you got flare. Yeah, I got flare way on the bottom. I don't know what the yeah. that is. Here, I'll, I'll uh, if you want to pass, I'll. These are all the exact same ones right here. No, there's a couple on the top that are uh, different. 89 yeah. flare, okay. 90, 90 flare. And maybe, you know, whoops, I hate to break the seals. No, you're good, you're good. As long as the packs aren't open. Back in the day, they didn't put the plastic stuff around them. So. I guess the rest of the cases. Oh, oh. Except yep. for that one. Like that one, okay. All right. All right. At so. one time, I wrote down the year on the top of the box, and it's been here so long. Gotcha. It's faded. I don't think you can read it. So these are more of the 90. So this is all. There's two different kinds. Isn't it? Yeah, there's two different kinds. What year is this one? You're not going to give me a year anywhere? All right, I'll tell you what, we're gonna, we're gonna take a picture of it. I guess the rest of them are all. So those are all, yeah, yep. All, all right, I don't, what do you, and then what's in that one, the same? No, this one I think is all clear. And it says, no, I'm sorry, score, 1988 score. 88 score. Yeah. And I don't think it's been. Yeah, you have one box that goes someplace else. This goes with that other set. It does. Yeah, but i So if you couldn't tell, I was pretty excited. So he talks about cards. I know a little bit about baseball, not a lot. You know, we somehow got to 84, and I'm like going crazy because they're going for $500. You know, we start going to a shed. I'm just like, oh, mind blown kind of thing. Like, oh my goodness, what is about to happen here? And and then it just it's a big kind of letdown. But it was it was fun going through the motions, man. It was those those are what you know, like big picks are almost how that's how they start. You go down that rabbit hole, and then all of a sudden you just throw something out there, boom, and then you go to some dude's shed, then boom. Uh, but in this case, it wasn't it wasn't what we thought it was going to be, but. Uh, Still cool seeing cards, you know, from the from the 80s. Um, that's cool, you know. Not not to say there's not value there, but for me, it just wasn't for me. And um, you know, and I'm sure whatever he paid back in the day for him, he's he's eventually make some some money off of them if he ever decides to sell them. But yeah, it was fun. That was that was cool. So I had to jump on here. The video cut off, so uh, I had to share. Morning. How y'all doing? Yeah, that's true. So for this and the uh Yes, yeah, yeah camcord and everything. And then the tapes. Did she tell you about this is in there? Yeah, yeah all right. Oh, got it. See you later. 
Y'all happen to have any uh, video games by chance? Video games? <laughs> any video games or? No, the only thing I have is the computer games, the Nancy Drew games. Gotcha. All right. No. Hey, you didn't have no magazines and all that? I've got comic books. No, he signed that. Oh, oh no. You know. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, we got comics. Yeah, comics, no. Yeah, I do mainly like video games and uh, like old toys or um, stuff like that. Sports cards, like football cards or baseball cards. So, appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good day today. You happen to have any other video games by chance? Most of what I could sell, I just went ahead and took to GameStop. Oh, yeah, you, I wasn't oh. gonna take all the money, man. Man, they made why'd out, you like, why'd bandits. you do that? You should have put them on like Facebook or something. Or at least put them out, yeah, first before you oh, give it no, to I a corporate, to, or corporate of America. I baby stuff, so I stuck to my lane, and then I took a cut or a loss on the Xbox stuff. Price sticker, and then you did <laughs> yeah, well, I mean the, I mean you know the. Do you know if there's any VHSs in the house anywhere? Um, there are VHS um, outside. I want to maybe test one because I'm not sure what it's doing right now. If that's normal or if that's... Yeah, I think so dirty, I would imagine. <laughs> well, the video cut out again, but it's not nor it wasn't normal. The tape just kept popping out whenever you try to put it in. So... Just wanted to kind of include that in this in this video, just to kind of uh, uh, show that I always want to test your electronics. Um, I've made mistakes many times, uh, so always check your electronics, your speakers, test them, your CD players, your tapes, your uh, VHS, uh, battery terminals, anything with battery terminals, collectibles, electronics, whatever it may be. Uh, if it's older, especially. Uh, even newer really check the battery terminals make sure they haven't corroded out and and, um, and uh, you know because that typically causes damage and in my experience like 75% of the time um, it's not going to work so um, just food for thought dropping a nugget test your stuff that uh, you're looking to pick up and one more thing I wanted to add is uh, think uh, whenever it comes to electronics also look up like parts and repair you know, like iPads, you know, if you can get stuff cheap enough, uh, it's worth selling stuff for parts and repair. Laptops, um, just any sorts of electronics, even, you know, those VHSs or old receivers, uh, things like that, sometimes are worth just selling as parts and repair. You know, a little, of a ha little bit of a hassle to, to, to pack and ship uh, in some cases, especially the bigger receivers and things, but um, there's a lot of times still value there. So keep that in mind. 
uh, and also parting things out uh, as a caveat as another just add to add on to that is just parting things out you know sometimes it's you, you have something where part of it's just really bad and the other parts are good and you can disassemble and sell off the parts that are good um, an example would be like speakers for example 901s I did it to not a set of 901s uh, a long time ago uh, if anybody's familiar with the 901 bows um, you know they got all the little the little mini speakers in there and so I think I forget how many it is there's a lot of them uh, but you can you know the boxes were really rough and really bad condition but the speakers were usable they you know so somebody else that has the speaker that's in really good condition the box may have their speakers may be all rotted out or whatever and that happens a lot with those so uh, so just keep that in mind you know being able to part things out uh, and, and get value out of stuff like that and or uh, you know, just a parts and repair. Uh, so those those guys, I've, I've sold many laptops for parts and repair, many uh, doing storage units and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. And just another nugget, 13 inch DVD, VCR, TV combos. Um, keep an eye out for those and look them up. Normally they're worth, uh, they're worth picking up and the hassle of packing them. They're not terrible to pack really. Um, but keep that in mind.